Hey, so I'm gonna do a little bit of collaging tonight and I'll show you um, how I do it. Wait, first let me take the paper off this thing. Don't ask me why I decided to start things like this at uh, 9.30 at night, almost 10 o'clock. Um, but anyway, okay, I want to cover this at the bottom. Oh, this is going to be my bottom piece. Let me cut. Let's see. A little more of it. Ooh, this is gel. For some reason, my gel is very watery, but it'll be fine. So collage is fun because I did all the paint. I made the papers, collage papers myself, and. Um, you know, not really knowing what I was going to do with them. You don't like, like make them for a certain purpose, or at least I don't. I just kind of make them as I'm painting sometimes, leftover paint, and then uh, put them in a folder or in a tote bag, a bag, and when I'm ready to use them, it's like I have lots to pick from. Now, I want to get this writing the same way. I guess it goes this way. But so I've kind of put these colors together, kind of know where I'm headed with this. This is the hard part of the collage, getting it to lay flat. At least in my experience. <laughs> my limited experience. I had some great teachers like Aime. Uh, Siegel, I made Farnay Siegel, and Zona Wainwright was the first collage workshop that I took. It was a lot of fun. And then, and they kind of taught sort of the techniques. And I probably put too much on here because I got all of this side. Okay, my next thing, let's see, I laid this out. I think I'm kind of going from dark to light. I want to put this in there. This is a little wording about COVID-19. I thought it would be fun to have that just kind of sticking out to kind of give a reference to when this was made. And then it's going to have this, so that's big enough. I might put that on next. what I'm using is, is called golden gel. And it dries clear, so if you get it on something else, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's see. And this one is just enough to cover it. Let's see. That's good. It's not get sticking. I don't like that. Let me get this straighter. Kind of worked on the layout and picking the papers yesterday, but I didn't have the board. 
so I've got the board now. So this looks like this paper was just something I had where at the end of a session painting, I just wiped my brush in different directions, different colored paints, things like that. Oops, got a little of this gel on the rug here. I don't have a very big space to work in, which is kind of difficult. Hi, just thought I'd say hi. Uh, all right, back to where I was. I think this is gonna have to be torn in half to cover enough. And this was the, this particular piece of paper I remember. Everything has a, a, a story, a, a memory with it. This piece of paper was the edge of a painting and I had cut it down um, for a project. And um, I'm gonna turn this this way to get the right size. It was a great painting, but I even love the the papers too because they have just so much going on with different layers. Fun, but it's funny how you know even a piece of paper has a memory. Which way did I do that? This way. straight. Let me get it straight. Yeah, I think I want this up a little higher. There we go. I watched a lot of videos, not that I'm would ever want to be an instructor on a video, but especially with coronavirus, I just, you know, when there weren't classes and things, I started watching all kinds of uh, YouTube videos or paid lessons of, you know, different art techniques. It's been really fun. I mean, one of the teachers was from Australia. Another one's more local. A lot of ideas of things to do and things to work on. All right, this is where I got to figure this out. Just want, just want a little bit of this to show. some of this I need just a little bit of this to fill in I like this combination of colors. They all have, you know, a few things in common, the grays, the yellows, and the greens. Ugh, now I'm getting bubbles, so I didn't, I didn't do this little piece very well because you gotta get the bubbles out. <laughs> yeah, 
and it's gelled to the floor. And then I have one more thing I'm adding. Huh. Gotta find it. I think I got moved. Here we go. This is what I was saving. This is a skin. And I can't exactly explain how you make a skin right now, but it's with paint. And you make it paint and then gel and then you peel it off. This one I made with a stencil, so it's kind of a flower, kind of a sun. Uh, I'm gonna, I want it to go some on each. Make sure all the can you see that very well? Good. I'm gonna be I'm gonna use this tool to keep it really um be gentle with this oops fragile acrylic skin. I see a little bubble in there I don't like. So, actually, I mean, that the hardest part was finding the right papers, figuring out my layout ahead of time. I'm going to keep working on this a little more, but, oops, be careful. Anyway, so what I've got is a landscape. Um... um Collage. I'm going to keep working on it and iron out the bubbles, things like that. But I did another nice one and I have one more I've got to figure the layout for. But I'm going to give you a little close up. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Good night. I'm going to turn this off.